Clean everyone. And thank God it's Friday. Oh, I've never been more happy to say those words. Because Fallout is back. And last time we left Kira, she was outside the PlayStation. Questioning life, if I remember. So I think it's time to get back in. Maybe. I really do need to get a games SSD. I really do. Especially for games like this. <laughs> oh, there's the model. It only took it forever to appear. And it's not raining. Yay! Oh, wait. There's the rain. Uh, yep, we're back. Question now is... What to do? What to do? We could recover the flux sensor from Backstreet Apparel. We could... Report tonight, Reese. We could support the Brotherhood Recon Team. Or we could make our way to Diamond City to try and find Sean. And we're ignoring Tina. I'm thinking, since we're here, we might as well report to Reese. Oh, Reese. Reese? Will you stop doing that? Seriously. You did that last time, too. Hey. Stop vibrating. Stop it. Okay, you're apparently not allowed in here. Do you know where Reese is? So I can pack it up and get it ready for transfer. Yeah, I'm gonna do that next. I want my money from Reese. There he is. Look at you, buff man! <clears throat> About time you showed your face. I take it that area's clear? Yeah. Um... Yeah, I think I got everything. I honestly don't remember. I think I got everything. I don't care what you think. I want to hear what you know. Now get back out there and don't come back until the op's done. Oi! Hey. You better have some good news. Do you really have to ask? The obvious answer is yes. Now, if you're done asking You're going to make me say it, aren't you? Now report to Paladin Dance. He said he had a mission for you. When you're ready for another op, you know where to find me. No, I don't like your ops. Your ops think of, I'm going to exterminate the Commonwealth. But apparently I'm back. Specific. What? I've got another mission for you, if you're ready. Uh, what do you need? Just tell me what you need. All right. Over the years, the Brotherhood has sent several recon teams to the Commonwealth. The last squad went in three years ago. They never reported back. Officially, they're missing, presumed dead. And do you want to know what happened to them? Was there a rescue mission? Was there a rescue mission? No. The Brotherhood doesn't have the resources or the manpower to conduct a search like that. Everyone who signs up for a recon mission knows the risks. 
Our lives depend on our training and on each other. But if a team is lost, we honor those who give their lives in the line of duty. As you we should. We have a responsibility to find out what happened to them, if we can. Okay. Find out what happened to the missing soldiers. It's been three years. They could be anywhere by now. This is very true. It's been three years. They could be anywhere by now. Their insertion point was in the hills near Malden. Survey the area and establish a search pattern. Monitor your radio for distress signals. All recon teams are issued distress pulsers that put out a short-range homing beacon. If you can acquire a signal, you should be able to trace it to its source. Okay, that, that actually makes things a little easier. Yeah, we can find them. I'm guessing it looks like this thing here. Yeah. Is that your distress pulser? Would the Brotherhood freak out if I were to turn it on? Let's turn. You got out of the door! You're such a good boy. Now we're going back out the door, dog meat. Let's try not to get stuck in the door going the other way. I, I, as much as I would like to see Dance rolling around on the floor seeing your little ass shake in the doorway. Don't get stuck in the door. Looking to clear another location of trash? No. No, I'm not. Not everything that isn't human wants to eat you. Alright. So what do we got in terms of equipment? We have... 10mm pistol. My... Assault rifle. And a shotgun. And a bat and a baton. And a baton. And a handful of grenades. So we're not too bad. Mm. That, does that make me look absolutely ridiculous? No, actually it doesn't. Alright. So where is this backstreet apparel place? It is... Oh, just... Oh, that's... It's near Diamond City. So I think that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to wander our butts down here. Get the flux sensor. And then we'll dip down to Diamond, Diamond City and continue on. That sounds like a good idea. So for now we need to go that way. Probably... Great. That's not good. Great Garden should not be under attack. It's just robots. Alright. We're on our way. Uh, settlements. No. Settlements. Great Garden. What? I have a flat tire. That's not cool. Uh, APC stove? I can access the stove from out here. Um, spec tires. Oh. Great Garden's under attack. This is the worst time for a flat tire. Um, tire repair kit. Uh, repair. Close the door. Great What a horrible time to get a flat tire. Although one would could ask why we are rushing off to defend robots. When I really don't think they need my help. Look at them, they're getting hacked to pieces. He's over there. He's over there. Okay. Then let's make a deal. Apparently, I have to give you guys some defenses. Alright. Let's start by scrapping the junk. 
clearing up this cleaning up this settlement. Uh, a lot of concrete. Cinder blocks everywhere. Apparently that's not inside the boundary. Some wood. Wood. Some wood is good. A lot of wood and cinder blocks. A little bit of rubber. Barrel. Crate. An old door. An old barrel. Uh, some old fencing. Let's get this place cleaned up. We'll put up some turrets, I think. If we can. It kind of begs the question, why have you guys not built anything to defend yourselves? Okay, I can take those trees, but not these ones. Interesting. But I can have that pallet. Okay. There we go. Clean this pile up. Alright. So now we need to give them some defense. Uh, no. Uh, defense. Turrets, I have no circuitry. Which is incredibly ironic, considering... We have robots everywhere. Let's see, what were you guys carrying? I guess they aren't gonna need that anymore. No, no, they're not. Might as well loot the raiders. See if they've got anything helpful that we might be able to use. Mm -hmm. Nope not look like they have anything with circuitry in them besides themselves uh, but I don't think it's gonna be a good idea to scrap our citizens for turrets no I don't that seems like a bad idea I'm parched from lack of water surely I have they have a water pump around here so Perfect! Some, some water. We are properly hydrated. Woo! Okay. Still no. What about. What was it? Was it Green? Here's a. Supervisor Green? Ready to begin your fabulous shopping spree? I am! What do you got? What have you got? If you act now. You can choose from one of these fabulous prizes. All the arms and ammunition you can get your hands on, plus medical supplies and general goods. It's a bonanza! Alrighty then. Sure. More importantly, you have nothing with circuitry. So not helpful. Let's see what I've got in the van, in the, in the into tank. What do I have in the tank? Do I have anything with circuitry in here? No, probably not. Hmm. Suppose I could scrap that. That might get me circuitry, maybe? No. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Oh. Oh. Let's get this over. Another attack? Ow. Guys, we have a tank. Ah, it's foggy. I can't see. Right there. I really don't think they need more defense. I really don't. So you can just 
stay here and let these raiders keep attacking them. What? We missed one. And we helped defend Grey Garden again. Woo! Wasting all my ammo defending robots. Alright, let's get back on track. They really don't need protection. No, they don't. Uh, other Cambridge Police Station. <laughs> they have lasers and they have chain buzz saws and they have flamethrowers. I really don't think they need a couple turrets. It's a shame Sim Settlements doesn't take that into account. Okay, we're back. Is it always raining at this freaking police station? Yes. Alright, let's head down. And we'll keep our eyes open for things with circuitry in them. On our way to claim the artifact. Tired from like asleep. I'm not tired. I know. It's only four o'clock in the evening. I'm not tired. No, I'm not. What's this? CIT ro Rotunda. I don't think I want to go in there. That's not where they told us to go. Got a bridge? Hello. I see... I see beans that want to harm us over there is what I see. Let's grab this gun. See if we can't sneak up on them. Or pass them. Pass them would be preferred. Really don't have a ton of ammo. Wreck of the USS Riptide. I really don't want to fight people if I can avoid it. Shh! Be quiet! Trying to just kind of sneak through here. Keep our eyes open for mines that wish to blow us up. Make our way to where the artifact is. Right, I think we're good. going on over there. The place we want to go is this way. Nope, can't climb over that. Who is shooting what? I can't tell. What is going on up there? Okay, where we need to go is this way. And this looks like shotgun territory. Yes. I have deemed it worthy, so yes. Let's not get involved in their fight. We are looking to get a 
an artifact, and then we'll worry about their fight. Turn to tower radio signal found. Help or mayday or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name is Rex Goodman. I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. I think the super. Time to reel them in. Make every. Help or mayday or whatever it is one says. I'm on fire. Okay. Shut up. Alright. Everyone good? Nope. Everything dead? That had some ammo in it. Some chems in it. Let's loot these guys. Any cigarettes? No. Baseball glove. Bat. He really didn't have anything. They're up there. It was over here. Ugh. Ten millimeters. Yes. Back up there. Get inside. We made it to back through the barrel. We made it, guys. Alright. Don't freak out. We don't know what's in here. Probably raiders, considering that's what was outside. And raiders. Okay. Grenade selected. Got Molotovs, I think. Frag grenades. And. <laughs> Wait. No, you won't. Did you just... Alright, let's look around. Okay, shotgun shells. What about her? Oh, this shotgun's a beast. Yep, I had to play hero. Definitely hero. I don't know. Where'd she go? Scared, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy crap. That didn't go well. That really didn't go well. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, so we're back here. This time, let's not run back to protect the robots. Let's make our way down. And get ourselves taken 
and get this stupid relic. Hopefully without getting brutally... Oh, I didn't see this the first time. What's up in here? What's in here? Anything? Probably already came through here. Some... No. I guess you've got your read. Plates are ceramic, aren't they? Uh, junk. Yeah, plates are ceramic. Taking the plates. Dinner trays are aluminum, coffee cups. Three more money, three more money. All the money. We want all of the monies. Lunchbox. Ooh. Check it out. Check it out. A collectible Mr. Gutsy. I'll take that. Toy alien? Sure. Alright. Same deal, guys. We're gonna sneak across here. Preferably knock it. Shot at. That's the idea anyway. To not get shot like I did before. Sneak across here. Just, let's not make a ton of noise. And get attacked. Because I heard people down there. And the whole idea is to not die. That is the ultimate goal in life. To not die. One that we failed to meet. Okay. I think we're good now. There's people shooting each other. And we went this way. Checking things as we go. More fuel. We're definitely in shotgun territory now. Where did we go? It's over here. No, it was further down. Why didn't I go up here? Very interesting question. Duct tape? Yes. Meat? Meat for food? We got here, we got that radio signal that we're going to ignore. Sit down. Dog meat. Dog meat. Oh, what? What happened? Did it shoot my Molotov as I threw it? I think that's what happened. Yeah, the turret shot the Molotov. <sighs> Today is Fallout Friday Fails. We are doing so wonderfully, aren't we? Yes, we are. All right, take three. Here we go again. Pistol, shotgun, rifle, eventually rifle, baton, pistol. Eternal Post 150. You know what? Let's explore one of these first. Maybe we can build up some reserves. Maybe find some better armor. 
all in all get some better stuff. And there's blood. And heads on chains. Why did I think this was a good idea? Why did I get the inkling that this was a good idea? You know what? Let's do... Uh, it is eight. Yes. Okay. We gotta save. Gotta remember that. Need to unlock this. Um, right there. Okay. Uh, Got. I hate to say it, but it's too quiet. Uh, Preston, I think it's about to get louder. Damn it! Oh, uh, I'm. I want to not die. Preston? Okay. We're all still alive? I don't know if I hit him. Ow, ow, ow. I'm, I'm stuck in aim. Ow, ow, ow. That hurt. Am I out of stim packs? That would be really bad. I'm not out of stim packs. They are favorited on seven. Seven is not working. Okay. Hell no! Uh. Kill me. Why would you do that? Why would you kill me? Ow, ow, ow. Dog me! Dog me tried to kill me. Dog meat blocking is not cool. Keep going. Uh uh. They tried to kill me. I'm looting them. That's how this works. Uh, blue fly meat, sure. Uh, better clipboard. Problem is, I'm gonna waste all my good ammo on these guys. Nuka Quantum. Uh, nothing terribly interesting. Okay. Some ammo. <laughs> Shut up. I am going to die again. Ballistic weapons do plus 5% critical damage. Okay. I also picked up some armor. Is any of it better? Uh, they're both light left arms. Uh, that gives me plus 2 action points. So, sure. Do it looks ridiculous? Probably. Back here. Always use more ammo. Let's load up. Did you find more ammo? Where'd you find more ammo? I want more ammo. Ammo is good. Oh. No, I don't want. Ew. 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 What do I want here? First aid kits. Usually good stuff. Can't take his helmet. 
No, I'm not going to defend Grey Garden. No, we're not. The robots can take care of themselves. Right, Teddy Bear? Great place for an ambush. Yeah, we've already been ambushed. Or, well, we ambushed them and it almost went horribly wrong. Well, I think with that field ambush, we got their attention. Armor bench. Uh, you know what? Let's scrap some of this down. Scrap that down. Scrap that down. Further. Do I have what? I have nothing that I can use on my jumpsuit. Or my light. What's the road fury outfit? I could do deep pocketed on the road fury outfit. Okay. Alright. Did I ever wear the Road Fury outfit? Was that the t-shirt outfit that I was wearing before? No, it's kind of a... A mismatch. Some whiskey. Okay. Still no circuitry. Alright. Let's move on. Onward! We're moving on. Okay. Um. Yeah, we've got... It's that way. Let's continue in that direction. Going this way. We're gonna go find. Not that tired. What'd you find? That's a table. That is a table. You talking about the coffee cup? Okay, whatever. Preston, this is not a time for a nap. For a rest. Nap. Bobby pants. Take those. Alright, made it to the bridge. Oh. That mildly annoys me now. I lost my collectible Mr. Gutsy. Is made me sad. before let's not draw too much attention and just get across this bridge okay guys I'm just hoping that they won't see me because it's bright out now okay it's aluminum Aluminums. It's stuck in here. Anything? No? Be a good perch to shoot ambush from though. Alright. Right here. We're going this way. Same way as before guys. Hopefully we can keep it cleaner this time. And not get ourselves blown up. No, because that sucks. Ooh, there was corn in there that time.
Okay. Preston! Yeah, the turret's shooting it. Easy boy. You'll be okay. Repair my companion? Did I blow it up? No. Okay. Now where's dog meat? Preston? Who's shooting it? I've got this one. Oh, that's dog meat. I, sh I just shot dog meat. Oh. Beer boy. Okay. Let's get her pull ourselves back together. I wish it told me if it, what they had was better than what I was wearing. Um, what about the guy we blew away when we came around the corner? Um, what about the two metal ones I picked up? Were those better? Uh, that's a left arm, so that's not helpful. Uh, I know I'm just gonna get cold, but. Well, that'll give me better chest protection from the next time I meet a shotgun in here. Okay. Save. Let's go. Alright. Nice and quiet. Let's not get blown up. Inventory, weapons, fragmentation grenades. A couple years back, before I met Sutch, she had a couple of the kid on the north side of the Charles. He wasn't that young, probably around 18 or so. Anyway, after hanging out with him for a while, it started to get dark. What? <gasps> nope, they heard me. There you go. You are so good. Ow, 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 fire. Oh, now my seven keywords. Grenade. Okay. Anyone? No, something tells me the big gun is better. Okay, not bad, not bad. Could have gone better. Yes, it could have. Could have gone better. Yes, it could have. All right, let's clear this place out first. Come back. I was having fun. Yeah, so was I. Lots of fun. All kinds of fun. Fucking high. Really a pull cue. <laughs> oh, that was close. Yes, yes, I, I know I need lots of water now. Uh, water, water. Still thirsty. Let's have a nuka. Still parched. More soda. 308s. You had 308s. That's actually useful. I am not using any radar armor. That looks absolutely ridiculous. You're still alive? Christ. Yep, yeah, I'm still alive. For now. You know. Playing games with me, huh? Oh, all kinds of games. We found the flux sensor. Okay. Now we have a decision to make. Do we try and clear this place out? I think we should. 
Preston, get your gun out of my face. What the hell was that? You heard nothing. This oh. is bullshit. Oh yeah, total bullshit. Fucking quiet. I like it quiet. Where the hell did he go? Oh, it's driving me nuts. What the fuck was that? Oh, really? I was. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Anybody else? Get them all? I think we got them all. Uh, metal light armor. Sergeant ammo. Grenade. Metal light armor. Uh, oh, I, okay, I didn't mean to take that, but sure. We cleared it out? Is it empty? Yes, I know, I'm tired. Okay, that goes upstairs. So, let's take some time and loot the building. Yes, looting the building. That is now the plan. Nice. Uh, duct tape. Look at what? Look at what? How shit this building became? Uh, do toasters have? Uh, junk. Toaster, toaster, toaster. Toasters have s screws. They have screws. So toasters are worth taking. Beers we're taking, people will pay, will pay money for beer. Actually, now that I think that bottles are worth taking because I can fill them. Pack of duct tape, a three pack. Whatever. All right, radios. Oh, we have a mattress. You know what? Let's have a quick nap. better. Uh, cap stash. A Mac 10 pistol. Interesting. Uh, Mac 10 pistol. It uses 38s. The bullets from everywhere. <laughs> Everyone has 38 ammo. Shadeless table lamp. That'll have copper. A master safe uh, I don't don't suppose you had a key no let it be light no nope. but you did you have a no you didn't have a key either okay I think we've cleared the building so at least the inside So let's have a look around. What we got? I don't want bones. I don't want bones. Oh, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Teddy Bear. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Here we have all kinds of bottles we can fill. A locked cooler. What is so cool is that they had to lock it up in a cooler. Broken bobby pins. That's what's cool. Sweet. More bullets for the gun. Uh, actually, you know what? I have an armor bench, so give it all. And we can scrap this stuff down. In 
two useful things. When did I pick up Raider Armor? I don't want to. Oh, we're probably from him. Okay. Check it out! Oh. Wait, that's Metal Light Up. Painted Lightweight. We have a terminal. Password required. Uh, carpet. It's one light, one light carpet. So it could be killed. It's much more like killed. Keypad. Uh, that's two. So no. Tracks. No. Leaked. No, only two. Coated. No. Cross, definitely not. Traded. No, that's just the ED again. Target. That is one. Like it, so no. Mugged. No. Tested. No. Minded. It has to be minded. That's it. Safe control. Disengage the lock. Okay. So we've opened the safe. Shotgun shells, bullets, money, and silver. Sweet. Anything else in here? Uh, clothes hangers. Some very bright white boxes. What about on the counter side? Some pre war money. Is that it? What about in the displays? A hunting shotgun. Hmm. Okay, take that. He had a shotgun shell. Oh. I'm not carrying too much. Okay. Hey. Uh, no. Press it. Hey. Point it out. Come Over here. here. I'm on. Come here. I would you like to trade with you. Plug? No problem. Uh, not exactly. I would like you to carry all the junk. You know, all this stuff that you say that you hope is useful. Well, I'm giving it all to you. Uh, except there were bottles in there. Give me back the bottles. Okay. I will carry the bottles. Uh, shotgun shell stem pack. Mm, fashionable glasses. Just how fashionable are fashionable glasses? Fashionable glasses are really weird, is what they are. What about those sunglasses? Face the light. That's a little better. Cash register, baskets. I think we got everything. We didn't die. We didn't die. We're hungry. I can fix it, I think. This again. And split chops. Yum! Don't drink the liquor. It, we can't hold it. And it's water. Okay. Let's go, guys. Speaking of water, I could use some water. Oh, come on. Really? What did dog mean find? What? Oh, you found the... 
Ten bucks. Alright. Um. Uh, man. Uh, Diamond City is just south of us, so. I think we can make it. Before the weather gets too horrendous. Uh, Diamond City is it's south, right? It's kind of southeast, southwest. No. Yeah, southwest. I'm getting my things turned around. Stairs or something up there. Okay. More south. Gotta go more south. Take this street here. <laughs> Oop. Nobody. Why? Well, you don't want to come out and fight in this red storm, do you? Honest. Come on, Preston. That looks baseballish. Diamond that way. Okay. Looks like we're headed in the right direction now. Turns not shooting me, so I'm guessing friendly ish. Diamond City this way! Okay, got it. Hello? Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. Following the signs. We are following the signs. We are following the signs. Hello? Hey. Everything outside the wall ain't safe. That's just how it is. I could agree with that. Hello? Karen? Hey there. Make a move, and I'll end you, Slander. Wait. Crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out. Is that it? Oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Ooh. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's <laughs> really steamed, Piper. It's, it's a storm. red storm. So let us in. It, it looks like he can, apparently. I know you're listening, Danny. Open the gates. Preston? You. You want into Diamond City, right? Yeah, it's kind of a rainstorm. I just got here, but yeah. I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. Ooh, blackmail. Give me a minute. And it's raining again. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on with the bluff. That's kind of our idea. Huh, there's people waiting for us. Uh, okay, Sounds let's go. Good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Can we just get out of the rain, please? Piper, who let you back inside? I Danny. told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. That's right, it's all fake news. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. <laughs> what? Oh. Um, in the old world, yeah, I believe the press was important. 
always believed in freedom of the press. It's one of the foundations of a free society. See? Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. And what would that Welcome be? Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? <sighs> yeah, let's just say that when I arrived, the gate was shut, it was a red storm, and you were locking out one of your own citizens because she said something you didn't like in the paper. It hasn't been the friendliest welcome. This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. She's got you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Um, I don't trust you, so... Not really your business. Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, I'll stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Yeah? You're gonna make me famous? You should go put my name in the papers. Extra, extra, read all about it. Hey. Go ahead. <clears throat> yeah? Uh. How are you feeling about it? you want to talk about? It feels good to be out helping people, to be making a difference. The Commonwealth is in your debt. Well, I, okay. Nothing else for now. No problem. Um. Hey, you're Danny. You're Danny. Okay. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, she just kind of roped me in. I didn't mean to lie, officer. I, it all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and well, you saw how mad he is. Yeah. What's brought you into town anyway? It'd be good to note it down in the logs. <sighs> Yeah, he seems charitable enough, so let's be honest with him. I didn't trust the mayor. I'd like to think I can trust Danny. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? Uh, an infant boy kidnapped. Yeah, an let's not be too specific. Kidnapped. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but... We're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? Um, come on, Danny. I, I, prove to me you're a nice guy. I just give me a little bit of information. Wait, what's the institute? The institute? What's that? Ah, oh, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. Okay, fair enough. But can you give me just a little bit of information, please? Pretty please? I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. Okay. I can at least point you somewhere. Unofficially. See, thank you. Get inside the city. Go to the back, around the market, to an alleyway. There's a couple of bright neon signs. Valentine's Detective Agency. No one likes going there, though, so buyer beware and all that. People don't like the detective agency? People don't like the detective agency? Look, all I can tell you is that we hear a lot of complaints. <laughs> a private eye in the ruins of the ballpark. Makes total sense. A private eye. 
in the ruins of the ballpark. Makes total sense. I'm not sure I get what you're driving at. Why don't you just move <laughs> along? Oh, come on. You've never heard of the Blues Brothers? <sighs> Have people forgotten everything in this world? My, um, my opinion of you, Danny, just took a nosedive. Survival the type of bed you sleep in the of like the time you're able to stay asleep. That's a wrecked car. That's a very wrecked car. Can we look at something other than a wrecked car? I'm in Mayor McDonough has always been against the Minutemen. We never quite understood why. Why would it be against the Minutemen? Why? Come to think of it, why would anyone be against the Minutemen? Why would the Minutemen have any enemies? They do. been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. Now I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? Hi, hi Nat. Free paper to newcomers. If the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Institute? Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute lady? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you too. Who's gone missing? Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so. Someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be- The Boogeyman! Grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. You're a heck of a. You know what? I'll be nice to her. I believe you. Thanks. You're a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. Now tell me about it. The synthetic truth. Uh, uh inventory. Sladius. Note, the synthetic truth. October 2087, 2287, the synthetic truth. Um, okay. Noodles, we all eat them, we all love them, and Diamond City's Power Noodles has supplied this sustenance for the past 15 years. From the stilted mechanical cadence of Takahashi's program Japanese, to the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl, to the See scalding tang of each delicious mouthful. The ordering and eating of noodles is but one of many shared human experiences. Or is it? So where are you going with this? I was struck by this very question as I sat at the counter of Power Noodles last Wednesday night, just after 5 p.m., enjoying a dinner I had so many times before. That's when I noticed our very own mayor, McDonough, sidle up to a stool and engage in the very same ritual. Right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing, yes, eating noodles. A shared experience of almost every Diamond City resident. So it must have seemed to the residents of Diamond City nearly 60 years ago on an uncharacteristically warm May evening in 2229 as they sat around this very same counter. But that was before the days of Takahashi and his noodles, when the bar served not noodles, Ice cold Nuka Colas, frothy beers, and stiff shots of whiskey. The barman's name was Henry, and that night he facilitated the shared human experiences of drinking, smoking, talking, and laughing. That is, until tragedy struck. There aren't many among us who are even old enough to remember that evening, although some of the city school residents certainly could have, had they not been forcibly removed thanks to Mayor McDonough's anti-ghoul decree of 2282. 
But there is one person among us who does remember, distinctly, the events of that evening. Respected matriarch Eustace Hawthorne, who recounted her story in a public occurrences exclusive interview. Oh, I was there all right, sitting right at the bar, sure as you're sitting in front of me now. Twenty-two years old or so, and just looking to have a good time. I was safe behind the wall. We all were. So what was the harm? And let me tell you, that Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day, said he was from out west, somewhere. It didn't really matter. What didn't matter was his smile, and his laugh, and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease. That night at the bar, we all sort of crowded around him. Everyone wanted to exchange a word, or hear about the state of the Commonwealth. And, Mr. Carter, he was all too happy to oblige. It was just so wonderful, until it wasn't. Eustace continued her account of that evening, and the moment when things turned sinister, and the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. We'd been drinking and carrying on. It must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in, in that time. He seemed a bit drunk, I guess, like the rest of us. And something just sort of happened. He was smiling, but the smile sort of went from his face, all in an instant. And then his cheek started twitching, kind of funny. And I remember watching him, clear as, it, clear as if it happened just yesterday. He reached inside his coat, took out a revolver, and then blam! He shot Henry, the barman, right in the head. Didn't hesitate, didn't show any emotion. Mr. Carter killed Henry as casually as if he were paying him for a drink but his cheek never did stop twitching. Let me tell you, all hell broke loose after that. What Eustace is describing is, of course, the infamous event known as the Broken Mask. When the people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced could effortlessly infiltrate human society. Unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved their androids into true synthetic humans. Since. After he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot three or four other people too. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running, they opened fire, and Mr. Carter, he kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, those guards put him down. Seemed like they had killed a man who had flipped his lid, gone crazy. As he lay there, like a dead, crazy man, sure enough, God, it was horrible. But then we saw the plastic and the metal. This was one of them early since, you see. We realized it wasn't a man at all. It was just then we all knew. The Institute wasn't just out there. The Institute was everywhere now, among us. It was never determined precisely why the synth, known as Mr. Carter, went on his killing spree. Some suggested he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute, who wanted to test his combat effectiveness. Still others felt he had simply malfunctioned, a hypothesis supported by the twitching cheek, and was never meant to kill anyone. But that time, the why hardly seemed important. What mattered? was that the humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organization whose intentions and motives were, and still are, a complete mystery, using a model of synth even less advanced than the ones the Institute has in service today. Which brings us to noodles, specifically the noodles consumed by Mayor McDonough last Wednesday night, in the same spot that Mr. Carter the synth went haywire and mercilessly killed several people. After spending hours sharing it, an experience the people of Diamond City assumed was deserved for members of the human race, they were wrong. Are we? That's a bit of a stretch, Piper. Sure, the man's an ass. I can kind of see why he's mad. You're claiming he's not human because he sat down and ate some noodles. And had a little bit of a twitch in his cheek.
decide to drop by. No, not blue. Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. <laughs> Here's your headline, local woman says no. What kind of interview? What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? I'm not sure. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Mm. Well, considering the fact that I was frozen and don't remember it. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yep. Yep, I am quite over 200 years old. Yes, I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The woman out of time. Yep, very so, much. You've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, it's crap. Yeah, you're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other, and my god, the smell. Although, seeing them actually alive after the bombs? Anyone home? I'm thinking. You said you were loading tough questions, now I'm thinking. But you're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other, and... Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, it's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, the, uh, big question. Well, think about it. Clean oh, your shit up! They're looking for someone, aren't they? Who is it? I lost family, and I'm trying to find him. I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are they? You are very much a reporter. Why do you care? This is news. No one else in Diamond City may care about the missing, but my paper does. Okay, fair enough. My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. He was he not even a year child. old. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? I didn't know who the Institute was until I got here. I have no idea. All I know is some dude came in, shot my husband, pulled the baby out of his arms, and walked away and refroze me. A man took Sean. Not some shadowy group. I hope that's true. Because if they are involved, everything gets worse. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Come find the Minutemen. We'll help you. Oh. Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? You can only take it one day at a time. Just keep going. That's all anyone can do. Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. That's pretty direct. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. That's all. Nope, that one. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that that you'll see them again, or 
At least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Well, I, I've got Preston with me right now. And I don't think I can take you, too. Can I? Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Uh, sure. Can you come with me? Sure. Let's go. Will do. Piper, you listen to her now. She'll keep you out of trouble. Out of trouble? <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Oh, okay. Send Preston to... Um... Something tells me I should send him to Grey Garden and make him a guard there. You look stoned as all get out, Piper. Holy crap. You've been smelling the fumes off the press. Look at this face. Preston can head off to Sanctuary. Uh, confirm. Okay. Ah, oh, what were you hiding? I think someone was using this as a trash can. What? It was your own washer. So who's been using it as a trash can? Piper. Seen better days, I don't know. Has it seen better days? It was in your washer. Utter. So, Danny gave us a bit of useful information. Corrupt officials and brown raising citizens, but it's home. Wait, I came out that door. Okay. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm -hmm. The mayor's secretary, come on. Uh, I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nick McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. <sighs> That's how paranoid you've made this city? Hey! Hey! I ain't telling you how to pick your friends. Piper's kind hey. of trouble. Hey! Thank you for meeting me here. My name is Shimasuka. No. What? But we've been traveling together for ages. My name is Shimasuka. Ah, sorry, Blue. The jig is up. Takahashi told me everything. Level eyes. Gone. I mean, I bet your name's not even Blue, is it? No, my name's not Blue. But that's what you keep that's calling a... me. Shoot. I, I want to talk to you, but you keep Piper. walking away. What's going on? Thoughts? Thoughts? Right behind you. Th okay. That was Very sure. simple and to the point thoughts. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. <laughs> Tell me a joke. Tell me a joke. <laughs> yes? Yes. <laughs> See Ebbett at the wall? Why, why, why would I do that? Takahashi. Yes. Yes. You have noodle cups. We like noodles. Not that many noodles. Take. We're touristing. <laughs> uh, except. Okay. There's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Uh, yeah, that sounds like... Quest! Explore the combat zone! So the game is literally telling us, Don't listen to that guard! He has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. What do you sell here? What do you sell here? Everything, Mum. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. 
We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. Oh, ain't that spiffy. I'll take a look. I've got a few minutes to browse. Anything and everything. You do? You have 308s. Give me the 308s. Uh, you, you have a lot of 45s. Give me the 45s. The other ones are pretty easy to come across. All right, what do I have to sell? I have a base hunting shotgun. So I'll have that. A 38 pipe pistol. Ooh. I think I'm upgrading my pistol. Yes, we are. You can have the board, the pool cue, but for apparel, got my Minutemen outfits. You can have those glasses. They're awful. Got the leather armor. I uh, don't need two of those. Need that. Need that. Uh, what do I have? Right, right. I don't use caps or, or drink. So, you can have those. Yes, you can. Miscellaneous. Mm -hmm. My magazines. You don't get my junk. Uh, I don't have anything that uses 556 five, rounds, but I don't want to sell them. We shall confirm our trade. So what else do you have? You have a sword. You've got a sword. Um, hmm. Shotgun short calibrated. Improvised explosives. Nine, 1911 with a uh, red death sight on it. A Mac 11 hardened. Detonators. What do you have for apparel? I've been trying to find our look. I've been trying to find our look, and we haven't had. Ooh, that's expensive though, but it's very good. Do we splurge? Yeah, we're touristy. Splurge. Uh, aid. We really don't have anything I need. Bobby pins. Junk. You, do you have any junk that has any, what was it? Uh, circuitry. Shift battery. Shipment of pieces. Ceramic. Ceramic 50. Shipments. Shipments. All the shipments. Well, we already took care of so okay I'm gonna have to go back and bring the, the tank here so we can sell off a bunch of stuff Need the, trade. We're always open. the walls have eyes Communis, communists are watching home plate requires key okay Home plate requires key. Uh, what's this? Like a doctor's place? Those are probably all shops, okay. Um, so let's get out of the market. Schoolhouse. Let's find... This must be the barracks. These mattresses are all on. Is there like an inn or something? I suppose you guys would tell me about an inn. This place. The Science Center! Dr. Sun's house. Where it is, something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? It's been abandoned forever. Because there might be witches. I can't believe you eat that. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout in, and that's the pools. We just gotta eat. Dugout in. 
real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. The noodle stand. You hear that? He eat at the noodle stand. But we should be able to find ourselves a bed. Middle of story. Crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When the out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk. A mire lurk. Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. If you want to talk something really dead. I forgot you was here yet. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Ooh. Hello, Hawthorne? Hi. Hey, what's your story? Mercenary, caravan guard? Um, well, I, yeah, I try to protect people. I try to protect people, that's what you mean. Hey, I'm all for the noble road. You know, as long as I'm getting paid. And maybe if there's a beautiful brunette involved. Are you hitting on me? I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over. I've seen vaults, pre-war ruins, and plenty of monsters. You've been to a vault? You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They're standoffish, but every once in a while, they'll let new people in. Alright. Best monster story. Go. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. You want to talk something really scary? It's the Institute in their sense. Don't go to University Point. Trust me. You don't want to know what they're capable of. Okay, fair enough. Avoid University Point. So you explore old ruins? So you explore old ruins. Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town farther than north. I never made it though. Got a bad feeling about that area. Yeah, some crazy shit went down there a couple of centuries ago. See you around, Hawthorne. Yeah, take it easy. Where are you going? Apparently, dog meat's gonna join you. Jesus, but Thank you. I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I kid, I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now let me know when you're ready to work. Um. Tell me, are you worried about the possible infiltration of Diamond City? Not today. <sighs> I'm fine. Are you there? Thanks. We need to have a conversation. Do we? All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. Then it's probably not me. Here. You may fit the bill. You need better informants. <laughs> I don't mind dangerous ones I get paid well enough. No. Um. Let's find out what he needs. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous and that you'll be paid fairly. Uh, no, I try to avoid danger where I can. Danger? No thanks. Well, you know your own business. If you change your mind, look me up at Cabot House, Beacon Hill. Ask for Edward Deegan. Okay. Talk to Edward Deegan at Cabot House. You read the paper. Damn sense. Hiding amongst. See, this is what you did, Piper. You made everyone paranoid. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. Have you seen the bed? Hi there. You can order drinks and food here or at the bar. Uh. I don't need any. Okay. It's called the Dugout Inn, and yet I haven't found a single bed. That I can sleep in. That door's locked. Oh, sorry, I'm kicking things around. What? That's an owned bed. That's an owned bed. This isn't much of an inn if there's no beds. Oh, a customer. Need a room? Yes, yes, you are wonderful, Yiffin. 
Here's your caps. You're in room two. Just through the door. Thank you, sir. You mean the one with the big number two on it? Okay. Yeah, no, this is my bedroom. All right, sweet. Do you mind? I, I was about. Heads up. Fight. What you got for me? Go check that out. That doesn't seem like a great idea. Move here. Uh huh. That's get out. I'm going to sleep. I don't think I can get to that. Piper. Sit Check in that out. chair. Yep. That is your chair. Sit in it. I'm about to get changed for bed, and you come busting through the door. Okay. Look alive. Oh, me. Here. Wait there. You chill. I'm gonna be really annoyed. Wait a second, aren't I? Yes, I am. I did not actually bring the nightwear. That's almost annoying. Well, I guess we're doing it this way then. Six o'clock in the morning, and we're just now getting to bed. You know what? Let's just have a good, like a, a day's sleep. It took us forever to get down here, and everyone won't stop talking to us since we did. Nope, we are staying in this room for a day. All right, so food. Let's have an omelet for breakfast. Let's and noodle cup because we are in Diamond City. And apparently that gave us enough to drink too. Excellent. Okay. Oh, oops. Let's get dressed first before we go back out. Uh, let's start. Let's do a little bit of deciding here. This is the light Minuteman outfit. Then we've got the jumpsuit. It's more bulky. It tends to clip with a lot of things. But it is better armor. Then we've got the Rude Fury outfit, which is worse armor, but has a, some resistances to it. And it looks kind of cool. Uh... Honestly, I, th I think I like the jumpsuit. I like the Minuteman jumpsuit. No, the light outfit. I know it's worse armor, but I like the outfit. And then we got... Wait. That is perfect! Look at that! It's like it was designed for that outfit. And then we need... My hat. Kind of torn whether I like the hat or not. I think I'd rather like a headband or something. Mm. So let's do right arm, left leg, right leg. All right, looking pretty good. We never favorited. Make that number four. We'll put our baton on number five. And we need to add the new pistol to number one. So now we've got our baton, our MAC 10 pistol, 
that has some cool flames on the side of it. I'm just noticing our rifle with some more ammo now, which is cool. Our shotgun, which needs to be reloaded. Perfect. And our pistol, which has a bigger magazine and all all the cool stuffs. Look at me. Let's go. Come on. Tell me if you need a room, otherwise the bar. All right, Piper. Moving out. Of course. All right, now that we got the group, what are we doing today? Honestly, my first thought is to go back and report to the recon team back at the police station and then from there we can grab the tank and bring it down here I like that plan I just said it and I like it So why didn't they just catch me before I left? You know, I'll talk to him when I get back. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, whoa. I'm not a simp. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the heck is going on? Um. Dude, put it down. Yeah, that that individual looks busy. Yeah, what he said. Whoa! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Officer? I need you to step away, Scabber. What the hell just happened? I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. You blew his freaking head to pieces. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own hey. damn business. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. Now, what happened? What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... These people are all kinds. Excuse me. My God. God. Let's get the hell out of here before someone freaks out and goes, Crazy lady, she has a ponytail. She must be a synth. Kill her. <sighs> people in this town are absolutely crazy. But they have shops and stuff with caps, so we'll come back. Probably might look up that. Well, at that point, we're gonna look through our list of things to do and determine which we're going to do. Step one: get the tank nearby. I think that's what I'm thinking. So where is the police station in relationship to here? The Cambridge police station is straight up the road over here. Straight north. Right? So we head out here. And 
and take this road north, right? What? I heard someone yelling. Somebody please help. She's hurt. She's what? going to die. She needs help. Hurt. She's in here. Oh. Please help. Oh. I'm coming to help. I'm trying to come to help. It's the latest issue of public occurrences. Uh, where? Hardware town. Where'd she go? Someone's shut. She said someone was in trouble. I think it was in here. I think she went in here. She's right back here. Hurry. Okay. Holy shit, run! That's an it. Gun. Q. Anyone else? You okay, boy? Okay, I get it. They baited me. They baited me completely. But look at it this way. We now have a whole hardware store we can loot. A combat rifle. Desk fans. A weapons bench. Which means I can take all their weapons and break down the ones I don't want. It's good to know. Uh, vodka, steam packs. Wait, what? Oh, missiles are. Holy cow, they're heavy. Um. Yeah, let's. Actually, no. Dog meat. Or Piper. Hey. What can I do? Head over there. You yeah, can come here. Sure. Take a peek. I'm going to give you. Uh. You no. Know you can have some sunglasses. You look like you're the sunglasses type of girl. But you're also going to get these missiles. I don't want to carry them. Uh, let's see what else we got here. What were you wearing? Vest, t-shirts, and fatigues. Take those. Stim pack. Pistols. Play pistol. Hey. Hmm? Don't mind the clutter. Uh, I, I'm not minding the clutter. I just need you to carry some stuff for me. You don't mind, right? No. As much as that look is yours, we might consider giving me something better because I'm sure it's not great armor. So we token. Um, that's some sort of. Paint making machine. 
Paint mixer. Make green paint. Okay. I need blue paint and yellow paint to make green paint. Blue paint, yellow paint. Make green paint. <gasps> I made noise and green paint. Okay. Anything else in here? Note. We have aid. Let's take a look around. That's all food, pistols. Road Fury outfit. Unarmored jumpsuit. Toaster pitcher. Muffler. Hey, just let me know. Go there. I am picking up all kinds of crap. Specific? Uh, not just for you to carry some stuff. Again. Because I have this bad habit right now of picking up everything. Um, it's a muffler. I don't know. But you're gonna hold it. No, we could use you to demo outfits. I'm just now. I why did I pick up three rugged? I, re I really don't need those. Heads up. Where to? Uh, peril. Oh, I wanted you to actually put that on. Cause that gives me Heads a. Up. Point the way. Quick and dirty look at different things. Red Leathers isn't a bad look. It's a jumpsuit. Oh, it's a scarf! Oh, okay. Road Fury outfit. Unarmored jumpsuit. It's just like a blank suit. Vest, t-shirt, and fatigues. That's not a bad look for you, actually. I think, but I think, yeah, you can wear armor pieces with that. So I think I'm actually going to take the muffler back, and I'm going to have you wear that. Some sunglasses. I won't take your hat. That is your hat. No matter what you wear, you can have your hat. But. Something a little bit, a little more armored. Yeah, that looks good. Um. Wow, they've been. I'm glad we came in here and wiped them out now. But we should probably be careful because they may, might be more down here. They may have just assumed that was. Another successful ambush. Let's just go. Uh, a lower stock room. Got a toolbox. What's in the toolbox? What is in the toolbox? Much failing. Very much failing. There we go. Yes. Yes and yes. Piper liked that I picked that lock. Oh, this one up here. To the armor workbench. Okay. Mining helmet. Tongs and a gas canister. I believe the gas canisters are the Weapons bench here too. Okay. Uh, I can put. Oh, okay. Primary color swap. Um, okay. Right. Let's scrap some of this stuff. I don't have a combat rifle. We're gonna keep that. Might give it to, might to give it to Piper. 
that's an idea. We might give it to Piper. I actually think that's what we're gonna do. Piper. Look alive. Point the way. I want you to have and consider it a gift from me. A weapon. Oh, do you need ammo for it too? Okay. Look alive. Help yourself. I need to test a theory here. So I'm going to give you ten shots. So what are you gonna pick? What can I do? If I tell you to use it, will you use it? Or is that all? Okay, so you'll use what I tell you to use. Now the question will be. When will you use up the ammo, or do you have like magical unlimited ammo? Don't really care either way, to be honest. I can carry something if you need me to. No, we're good. I'm just raiding these people and scrapping their armor for materials to build walls. No, nothing spectacular. Nope, not transfer. Scrap. 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 Actually, you need... Hey, shoot. Probably you... have something we can use. Uh, other way around, Piper. I have something you can use. Yes, I do. Because the whole idea here is to get you outfitted in a manner that will be beneficial and protective. Okay, so you have chest and right leg. So you need a left arm, a right arm, you have a chest, and you have a right leg, so you need a left leg. Let me know. I, hey, you say the I wish they just put it on. Like, if it's better than what you're wearing, put it on. You don't have to... Word. There we go. So, that's a... You look kind of funny, but you'll be better protected. And we have a level. We have a level and a mannequin in a shower. That's what we have. Alright, so, level. What do we want to use our level on? Mm, I'm thinking... I think we need a weapon perk. Automatic weapon. We don't, I don't use automatic weapons. Kira is not a fan of automatic weapons. She... She finds them scary and uncontrollable. The only reason she's using the MAC-10 is because, well, it uses ammo that's literally everywhere. Uh, other than that... Do we want better stim packs? I'm considering that might be a useful option to have. As is... Local leader too. To be able to build workshops. No, I think that's what we want. Yes. We need to be able to start building workshops at our settlements. Which reminds me, I didn't check to see if there was anything I could do to my weapons. Nope, over here.
So this is what we have. Uh, right now we've got a tuned receiver which has high rate of fire. Oh, we, we are definitely going to need to get gun nut. Short barrel, long barrel, long barrel with long tube. Short stock, full stock, marksman stock. Okay, standard pump or a small pump. Uh, ring sights, reflex sights, or standard sights. I like the ring sights actually. A choke, or a bayonet, or a... I never understood why you put a suppressor on a shotgun. It makes no sense to me. And material. We could do camo, polymer, or wood. I think believe it is is. My Mac 11. Well, we can set it to. Okay, so the standard version uses 10 millimeter rounds. 38 caliber reduces damage and weight, but it uses more prevalent ammo. Where 45s do more damage. Okay. Stock. I, I would like the extended stock, but we don't have what we need. I think it required, yeah, it required gun nut. Magazine. Uh, sights. Not much we can do there. Flames. Ooh, we can choose what we want on it. Bengal. Bomb. Bones. Dreams. Flames. Street. Tiger. Tribal. Um, I don't see anything on the tribal one. And none of it requires materials. I kind of like dreams. We'll go with that one. Yep. And an attachment. A flashlight, laser, or flashlight and laser. A laser. No. Okay. Um, I have to say I'm not as thrilled with the Susat as I thought I would. Mm. I think I'm gonna want to go for an EOTech. I thought that was gonna be a large a, a, a zoom sight so I could use it like a binocular but it, it's not. But I think we're gonna switch to the Flash hider instead of the suppressor. Medium magazine's fine. Barrel is fine. As we get better, we'll improve our weapons. Definitely. I have to say, I'm not fond of the skull camo. That's just. Good old fashioned. Good old fashioned gun. And, okay. The sights have a finish on them too. Oh. Ha. That's if I still had the silencer on it. Tactical flashlight. We're good. You wanted to make me a second printing press while you're at it. No, no, I think we're good. Sites so still aren't great, but they're better. Uh, no, four. Makes kind of a blue. I'm good. I'm I'm okay with that. Headed north. Is that where we were headed? North. 
Yeah, all right. Got 208 rounds with this gun. I think we can afford to use an automatic weapon. Fen Street Sewer. Hey. Run! Yeah, and it's beeping. Uh, they blew up. There we go. Guys, can cover. I mean, I know I gave you ammo. Armor, but oh. Oh, this is not very good at range. Ah! Okay, got him. I cannot afford to waste that ammo. Come on. Can't hit him. There we go. Hit him. Wow. Grenade. Really? Can I shoot his feet? There we go. I got you. Sorry about that. I did not mean for that grenade to bounce back. Alright, let's look around. These guys had some more ammo for this gun. Wait, what? Is he up there? No, let's not... <coughs> let's not continue. We have a plan. Let's stick to the plan. Indeed, stick to plan. Um, have a mattress we can take a nap on. Piper, where are you going? That was dangerous, Piper. That was really dangerous. I want to have a snack. Look, this you stressing me out. I'm stress eating. We gotta get out of these back alleys. Let's get back out onto the road. Where we wanted to be in the first place. Start heading north. And go get the tank. Like we said we were gonna do. Holy crap! Is it that time already? It's already midnight. Okay. So I think we're running a little late tonight. So let's get ourselves back, get the tank, bring it back down to Diamond City. I think we'll call it a night there. Yes, I do. Got Piper and dog meat keeping up. Looks like if we just leave them alone down there, they won't bother us.
which is good. I like that plan. Yes, military frequency found. Come back up here. Report to the two of them. Get our payment. And then we'll grab the tank and head back down to Diamond City. I think that's where we're going to call it for tonight. Unless I get distracted again. <clears throat> Which is entirely possible. Alright, let's do this first. Viper? What's up? Where to uh, those? let you keep your other stuff. Okay. So you did use up the ammo. Okay. So I'll let you continue to use your own weapon for now. Until I manage to come across a weapon that I can just let be let you have your own ammo. See, I left my robe here. I feel, I feel horrible, but I left my gun, my robe here. So we're gonna leave behind both of those. Like that. And we're gonna leave behind all this apparel I'm not wearing. the junk going here. Yes it can. All the mods that we took off of things. Missiles can all go in there. Holy crap they're heavy. Actually no, I have a I have ammo boxes for the ammo. No, we'll put explosives up here. Oh wait, no, that's just for the artillery shells for the tank. Yes, it is. I remember. So in here we will place... I have a lot of 30 rounds, but I think I'm going to narrow... Bring it down to 200 rounds for that. Wait, no, I want to keep 200 rounds, so I need to give them... Give it... 35. 308s, I carry all of them because they're fairly rare. 45s, I'm kind of stashing. So I'm using the 10mm pistol right now. Although, yeah, let's stash those too. I think we're going to drop the 10mm pistol. And we're going to go just to the MAC 10. As our, as our traditional weapon. Uh, weapons. 10 mil. Okay. Which means we need to redo. We'll put that there. Yeah. So we've got one, two, three. Whoa! Whoa! And all the woe. Dog meat. Why did something just explode? Don't like it when things explode. Close the door. Thank you. Let's head on in here. Eventually, I think we might give we might give Piper the Mac 10 and just give her all the 38 ammo. All right. For you. About you. Any luck with that tech? Yep, I got it. 
Here it is. Here it is. Good work. Now, I think Dan's wanted to see you. Go check in with him. I'll have another mission for you when you're ready. Well, I gotta find Reese first. Welcome back. Uh, one minute, Pellet. About time you showed your face. I take it that area is clear? Yep. Affirmative. Impressive. Keep proving your worth. I may start to trust you. I'm not this looking for your trust. Whenever you're ready for another op, you know where to find me. Uh, no, I have to say I'm not. I'm not ready. Right. I better not catch you. I'm rather not fond of cleansing the Commonwealth. Where did Dance go? He said he had a mission for me. How Ellen? Dance. I've got a mission for you. When you're ready. Uh. What do you need? Just tell me what you need. All right. Over the years, the Brotherhood has sent several recon teams to the Commonwealth. The last squad went in three years ago. They never reported back. Officially, they're missing, presumed dead. Surely they knew the risks. They knew the risks. They did. We all do. But the Brotherhood honors those who give their lives in the line of duty. We have a responsibility to find out what happened to them, if we can. All right. Do you got any pointers, like last known locations? Where should I begin? Their insertion point was in the hills near Malden. Survey the area and establish a search pattern. Monitor your radio for distress signals. All recon teams are issued distress pulsers that put out a short-range homing beacon. If you can acquire a signal, you should be able to trace it to its source. Okay, so that's actually fairly useful. All right. So we have our plan for next week. Find the patrol. Piper's gonna chill. Dog meat is once again stuck in the door. And I'm standing here with Buzz Lightyear behind me, worried about missing people. I wanna thank everyone for watching.